Well, uh, well, I guess I'm Blonde John Wick now. Yeah. <laughs> She's almost done. Got some doom rounds and uh, new end. Gonna put a light and laser to make it tactical. Pack your bags, folks. Cop 28 failed. No agreement was reached to phase out fossil fuels. And we've already reached 1.5 using the 1950 to 2000 baseline. So going further back, we're well above that. Figured I'd start this week saying hello to all you around the world. I've been very brash on this channel, but I've been having a good time and I hope you are as well. Eating enough meat sauce, making some pot roast right now. It's gonna be delicious. And I have a very spicy video coming out with a montage of clips things going on around the world, saving money, my birthday's next month, I intend on going to the range for my birthday and doing some drills with old trusty here, and with a chest rig and everything, getting stocked up because more than 42% of Americans foresee a civil war in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. Orange Man didn't have his fraud trial today and Biden's approval rating is sinking lower and lower as we veto peace-talking resolution in Gaza. I know I haven't mentioned much of that lately. I feel like it's just in the mix of cacophony of all the other insanity going on in the world right now. There are too many things to count happening. Um, starving children and elephants and UK households not being able to warm their families, record levels of debt, Americans never stop spending, along with Europeans. It's just a real pandemonium going on right now, and I'm holding on to my sanity. Uh, you know, people still cheering on sports games and carrying on business as usual as if this whole thing keeps going on when, uh, you know, no resolutions are made for peace, love, and understanding. All right. So I wanted to check in, say hello, and happy new week to all you guys, doomers and realists. The doom news just, like, comes left, right, and center. If you've been keeping track with Beckwith's channel and any number of others in this space, mention of methane hydrates in, around seabeds in the, around the world uh, getting warmer uh, and releasing, you know, pockets of enough to match all of the carbon emissions that we've been emitting, I assume, in the past 30 years. Um, yeah, it's horrific. And the not counting military emissions, um, I mean, these are just some of the noteworthy headlines I've seen that just, like, left, right, and center, we're going to be at 2 degrees Celsius at this rate by the end of this decade, using the 1950 to 2000 baseline. Of course, we're past that. So, uh, yeah, what else is there to say? Uh, pack your bags. All right, folks, December 11th, a few days ago, we entered World War II. Pretty amazing docuseries on Netflix. I've uh, streamed on the side about the front lines using captured footage from World War II and they used AI and colorization techniques to make it look like you're there. And, you know, somewhere around 50 to 80 million people died. Which is a lot of people. Um, counting civilians, you know, and military personnel. But still not in comparison to what we have on the horizon, which is billions of people starving and suffering soon. World War Three, because shit will hit the fan. All right. Thanks for hanging on and welcome new subscribers. I lost a few last week. Good riddance. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.